Greetings and saludos from the Margarita Island Reserve Riviera Cancun, a new all-inclusive family-friendly hotel that opened in 2020 just south of Cancun. As you can see from the giant sculpture of the sandal behind me, this is a pretty laid-back and special place, so let's take a look. Opened in 2020 after a major revamp of the former Azul Beach Resort by Charisma, the Margaritaville Island Reserve Riviera Cancun is a laid-back, relaxed place with lots of great things to do. Number one is to hang out on the beach. Of course, this is a natural choice at a hotel like this. Margaritaville has a scenic stretch of land and you could spend hours relaxing on the wonderful sands and wading into the warm waters. The multiple swimming pools are also a great place to relax, and that's why lying at the pool is my number two suggestion. No matter what room you have here, you're just a few steps from a pool and a lounge chair, and of course the beach. My insider travel tip is to get up at sunrise to enjoy some of the most amazing views. Number three is to indulge in a spa treatment. The Saint Somewhere Spa offers a number of enticing treatments. There's even a special area just for brides and honeymooners to get ready. Number four is to savor the sophisticated cuisine. I love the delicious Asian Latin fusion cuisine at the restaurant called Latino, and it's all included. Number five is to have lunch in the pool. Margaritaville offers a floating taco experience that is both delicious and fun. This is the floating taco experience and it's absolutely delicioso. Number six is especially fun, mixing your own drinks. The absolute coolest way to enjoy a drink at Margaritaville is to make it yourself using the resort's blender bikes. Salud. Number seven is to enjoy live entertainment. There are several bars and restaurants with live music and I enjoyed a live performance at Rita's Taco House. I enjoyed live music at one of the poolside bars as well. Enjoying time in your own guest room is another rewarding experience. There are various room categories and they're all close to a pool and the beach. Let's start by taking a look at one of the biggest suites, one of the presidential suites. And now it's time to take a look at my own guest room. Starting the room tour here on my little beautiful balcony so that you can see the beautiful Caribbean view that I have here. I'm just steps from the beach and also overlooking the pool area. So let's check out the inside of the guest room. This guest room is quite large, has a nice large king-size bed, which is always a treat. And they do a really good job, actually, of combining elements of Key West, of Jimmy Buffett's style and lifestyle and ambiance with authentically Mexican touches as well. So you see above the bed, we have a large photograph of, I believe, that is Tulum, and then a large pillow that says changes in attitude. And that is one of many little touches you see around the property that are referencing uh, Jimmy Buffett songs, elements of Jimmy Buffett's life and lifestyle, if you can come down with me below the, the TV screen, you can see even the furniture. This cabinet, for example, has a seaplane, a flying boat, whatever you want to call it, which I believe Pan Am used to fly in and out of Key West. I love anything about planes, so that makes me happy. Now, the mini bar is right here. First, you have the coffee, all the things you need um, to, uh, to make yourself happy here, but the mini bar You'll notice it's only furnished with water, but that's because they have a very interesting and novel new concept here where um, you use points 
uh, this is an all-inclusive resort, so you can fill up your mini bar, but so that you can fill it up the way you want to. They give you, with, with this wristband here, you can go to the store and then you pick out the things using the points you get. I believe in this room category, you get 2,500 points a night. And so you can buy the things using points so it doesn't come out of your pocket, it's included. And then fill up your mini bar the way you want. So if you want just Coca-Cola, if you want just orange juice, if you just want chocolate covered almonds, they have all of that and much more. So it's an interesting way to give you a little bit more control to customize your experience. Another thing I love is the bathroom area outside. The sink is really nice. The tiles are gorgeous, but even more so because of the way they have them displayed. So the ceiling, the, I'm sorry, the mirror is backlit, which emphasizes even more the beauty of the, of the uh, tiles here. Another thing, are the scents that you that you encounter when you're here the aromas the fragrances the hand soap for example is called coconut telegraph and it smells like coconuts it doesn't smell like a telegraph though because that doesn't have a smell does it the lo the body lotion is is called banana wind and i think this is the first time that i've ever had banana scented lotion in a hotel and it smells delicious and all of these scents make me hungry and so this is the the bathroom area with the toilet and also a rather large shower actually it's so large you can't even see the shower itself uh, but there's a, a tile seat there this is extremely comfortable i'm looking forward to a good night's rest in this bed and looking forward to smelling like bananas so now if you'll excuse me i'm just going to have a seat out on my balcony and enjoy this beautiful caribbean view Thanks for joining me on this tour. Please be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and check out my travel blog, latinflyer.com.